Significance, by definition, means that something has meaning and importance, and it's deserving of attention. To believe is to accept something as true. Belief is a state and a habit of mind. Well-being derives from the things that are important to each of us, from the unique spheres that influence us and how we experience our lives. Well-being is inclusive of our emotions, our ability to work toward our potential, the physical health of our body, and the health of our mind. And it's impacted by our environments, our social and interpersonal networks, our workplaces and our occupations, our social and financial circumstances, and more. WCWI believes that well-being is significant. Well-being is essential, and it's a right that should be afforded to all. We, the WCWI community, catalyze well-being in our organizations across three pathways of influence. Foundational, the people pathway, strategic, the organizational pathway, and systemic, the community pathway. And we know that we are at our best when we're grounded in our own well-being. Everyone is. The belief that well-being is significant has always been a core driver of WCWI's mission. This guiding principle is a pillar of our service and support to our members throughout Wisconsin. And it's a pillar of our vision to be a community of connected employers transforming Wisconsin's workforce. This guiding principle centers us all on building and upholding employee well-being as a valued strategy and a business priority. We say that well-being is essential and it's a right that should be afforded to all because there are individual, organizational, and social determinants that affect a person's health and well-being. So we acknowledge that well-being is complex and we strive to create inclusive, equitable, just, and comprehensive strategies that truly support all. We say that we catalyze well-being in our organizations because we know that we and you can cause and accelerate positive impact. As catalysts, our ideas, decisions, and our actions can shape better outcomes. Health and well-being is a product of an ecosystem much bigger than our individual habits alone. WCWI formed a framework that uses a systems approach to help us look at all of the layers and drivers of influence on employee well-being. A systems approach is powerful because lasting and impactful change occurs when we understand a system fully. And that's our people and our organizations and our wider communities. When we look at the whole system, we can view what's happening, what's working, what isn't working, and what's possible. There are three pathways of impact for well-being. Foundational, this is the people pathway. Through this path, organizations, leaders, and strategists understand, value, and encourage individuals to fulfill their pursuits of well-being across a wide scope of needs and care. This pathway represents the strategies and the solutions in which we're supporting employee well-being in our organizations. These are things like programs, resources, initiatives, benefits, and opportunities. Strategic, this is the organizational pathway. Through this path, organizations, leaders, and strategists integrate employee well-being into the core of the organization, into the values, the goals, and the business priorities. It's through this path that well-being is carefully and intentionally designed into the structure of work. Well-being is present in every experience of the employee life cycle, and it's considered in the conversations across the culture, the environments, the policies, the practices, and the interpersonal norms and behaviors. Systemic, this is the community pathway. Through this path, organizations, leaders, and strategists understand that well-being is impacted by larger systems and spheres of influence in people's lives. They know it cannot be siloed or addressed in a vacuum. When we view well-being as systemic, we can see our workforce through that wider and deeper lens. So through the systemic pathway, organizations, leaders, and strategists align their well-being strategies with equity and inclusion, corporate social responsibility, community partnerships, and common strategies across community health and wellness. The personal environments, socioeconomic circumstances, identities, and cultural backgrounds of employees matter. 
When people come to work, they bring those identities and those life circumstances with them. We are all at our best when we can be grounded and supported in our well being. I believe in the significance of 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 well being.